Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 13th, 2021. So, hey everyone, we saw a pretty good day yesterday with those bulls pushing, 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 and we actually saw that energy sector really push hard um, to the upside. Energy and financials had a really good day, and that actually pushed the IWM to new record highs yesterday. So, kind of an, you know, another day, another record. Unfortunately, fortunately, we also saw a new daily record in the um, pandemic death toll with over 4,300 Americans dying yesterday as a result. This morning, we're seeing the markets kind of showing just a little bit of hesitation. Um, and there's some issues out there that may be creating that. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle in, buckle up, and get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have the market kind of pausing. Um, we're getting some reaction in, in several different areas. First off, China um, had its biggest one-day surge in a long time in infections. And as a matter, matter of fact, China has placed 28 million people um, under lockdown trying to control this. Now, unfortunately, this is happening right before um the big travel time in um china the lunar holiday so kind of a a difficult situation over there in asia as those numbers um continue to rise back up um and uh, it's going to be an interesting well an interesting um few months ahead i think here in the united states obviously we hit a new record um in deaths um, with more than 4,300 uh, Americans dying yesterday based on that. And at some point in time, the market, it seems to me, is going to have to acknowledge that this is going to be a longer process of recovery than I think um, the market is pricing right now. So r this morning, we're getting a little bit of a pause here. And as you can see um, in the chart, we have just just the the dow futures looking uh just a tiny bit lower just and they're not really sure what to do right now they're pointing um exactly it's at 52 points lower nothing bad here um we're just in a consolidating move here on the dow so let's take a look at the technicals if we if we draw a line up here we definitely have um trend in our favor and we obviously have substantial price supports in this chart. One thing I would like to point out though, however, even a pullback into this level is going to be a significant point drop. Let me go over to the diamond or the Dow itself to, um, to demonstrate that. If we were to pull back into this area right here from where we closed yesterday, that, let's get this set right that's going to constitute a 434 point decline. And that's one of the things I've been warning of here recently is to be really, really careful because we have stretched this market so high to the upside that those pullbacks could be very, very substantial. And if that pullback were to begin, you don't wanna be the last person in the door buying stocks that are already extended. Um, also keep an eye on this, if that support were to fail, if we pull down to this next level of support, that's 708 points, just back to 30,000 in the Dow is a thousand point decline. So it looks pretty innocuous when you look at the chart itself, but when you start to look at the depth or the point um, declines that could be possible if we do get that profit taking wave or if sellers step on the gas here a little bit, um, it could be a, a bit painful. So make sure that you have a plan to protect yourself and protect your capital should that begin. And it could begin at any time. So let's watch carefully for that. Remember, we've got a, a lot of political drama popping off here in uh, Washington, D.C. that could create some price volatility um, over the next several days. We'll want to keep an eye on that. 
So just watch carefully as some of these things begin to unfold. Um, let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY also in a very nice little tight cut consolidation pattern, also maintaining its trend very strongly. But we again have that pretty significant point fall just to come back down here to price support levels in the chart. And we'll want to uh, be aware of that, that if we do pull back, um, it could be a rather painful pullback. Um, if you were buying stock yesterday or buying up a bunch of stock yesterday, that could end up being a little bit problematic um, as we pull back. So watch carefully for that in case it begins. Can't say that it will, and I'm not trying to predict that it will, but we will, will want to be um, on our toes and watching for that. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, NASDAQ is showing just a touch more concern here in the market. Just a little bit of softness, a little bit of weakness here overall. Um, not terrible though. We're holding up um, in this market. Notice that we kind of slipped below that little price support yesterday in the chart. And we have that potential that we could test this level here this morning. Now, if those levels hold, we're in great shape. But if we start to decline from there, notice that we have some pretty significant potential pullbacks that could occur um, into price support levels of the chart. So just watch that closely. Right now, trend is holding us, but it really wouldn't take all that much for that trend to give it up. And then we start looking for some support levels in the chart. Um, that could make it a little bit painful if that were to begin. So just be prepared for it. And let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM, new record highs yesterday, really pushing up strong. There was big winners yesterday in the energy sector, in the financial sector and even retail had a great day yesterday and I think part of that is just a move that rotation um, continuing into um, into value but one thing I got to tell you if you look at many of those stocks um, so many of them are very extended there, there was a lot of chasing going on in those stocks yesterday and they stretched and stretched and stretched um, way up there and many stocks are starting to look very very parabolic so you want to be careful not to chase those stocks that are really a long ways away from price support should that shift begin it could be a little bit painful for those who got in at the last uh, little bit so watch that close but one thing I have to say here in IWM the IWM trend remains very very strong uh, very very bullish but just keep in mind pullbacks to little price support levels could be substantial pullbacks in that chart and could make it just a bit painful um, if that were to occur. So just kind of keep a close eye on that. And then let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX remains perplexing to me. Um, again, in my entire career, 30 years of trading, I've never seen new record highs in the market and still holding a 20 handle in the VIX. And that's where we are. We you would think with the bullishness that we saw yesterday, we would have gotten more of a pullback, but it was really kind of a, yeah, just kind of a shrug. Yeah, we, we got a little bit of a move down, but it wasn't substantial. So in taking a look at that, um, we're right up here, right around our 50 day moving average. And it is a good sign that our 50 day moving average is diving. But at the same time, if we get some fear coming in, and that's possible maybe even today we get a little bit of fear coming in with a pullback we could quickly pop above that 50-day moving average now i don't think that's going to be a major problem and i've mentioned this several times before we can be above that 50-day moving average but what we don't want to see is a break of that downtrend and a hold of support if the, if we get a higher low in there hold of support and a fear wave comes in that's where the real selling could pick up and the real damage can occur so watch that closely if that were to be the case but once again it's still just a little bit uh, it may, things that make you say hmm uh, setting new record highs and seeing uh, vix that elevated um, is a little bit problematic. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. Notice that yesterday we rallied right back up. We'd started that pullback uh, the day before, rallied right back up and we're back up here in that bearish reversal zone. Um, 
and we're seem to be running out of that bullish energy just a little bit. We need some kind of inspiration to push us on through, but we seem to be kind of tiring maybe just a little bit. And, and that would be reasonable considering the fact that we have rallied so much as a, as a matter of fact, that the Dow from the Dow low in March is up over 5,000 points. It's just been a remarkable rally back up and we may be just kind of getting a bit tired and exhausted up here. So watch that carefully if we do happen to move lower. Now we still have upside opportunity. If we can find that inspiration, we could still move up, but just notice that we have a much bigger space to the downside if the, the those bears decide to show their teeth. Let's take a look at um, T2101. Now T2101, it's still a bit encouraging that it, we continue to rally off of these lows. But one of the things I'm really beginning to get concerned about is we could see a surge in market breadth, but that would come on the selling wave. So watch that careful if that does uh, play out that way. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a few things that we want to be paying attention to. First off, um, mortgage applications came in with a big surge this morning, big surge up in mortgage applications. A lot of folks fearing that they're going to miss out on the low um, rates here. And um, as we're seeing bond rates kind of uh, tick higher, um, folks might be fearing that. And we saw a big surge in those numbers this morning. But um, here at 830 this morning, we're going to get a reading on CPI. Could be one of our bigger numbers of um, this week um, and that possibility it could be a market mover. So watch that carefully on CPI. We continue with the Fed speak. There's just a parade of Fed speakers today going on. We also have that natural gas, or excuse me, um, oil sector report. Last week we saw a decline in oil supplies. That's helping um, to support um, those oil prices. And if that continues, if we continue to see those decline in supplies, we could easily see um, that energy sector continue to hold up and maybe even move on higher. So watch that carefully. And then beige book and treasury sentiment um, later in the day, I don't know that they will have much of any impact at all. Let's take a, uh, a peek at some stocks that, oops, we better talk about earnings. We better talk about earnings. We do have um, um, some confirmed earnings reports today. We have about eight companies that have confirmed reports. And by the way, guys, if you want to see the full list, um, and I want to continue to remind this as, as earnings pick up this season, um, there'll be a big laundry list of reports. And if you want to see those, make sure you click that link right before below the title of the video, and that'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch the list of those notable reports. So on the earnings front today, of those eight companies reporting, there are a few uh, notables that I want to point out. Um, INFO um, is reporting today, and it looks like getting a little bit of a boost right now this morning, trying to lift back up. We have kind of a um, an uncertain pattern here in the chart, however, more of a wedge pattern showing up. So let's keep a close eye on that. Um, a good report could maybe help that. INFY is reporting today. This has been surging, surging, surging to the upside. Very, very strong chart, as you can see. The trend moving up, and now we're actually moving in, in a very steep rally to the upside. And looks like it's trying to perk up a little bit this morning. That candle right there is today's candle. We're getting a little bit of bullishness there on that chart. Let's take a look at SJR. SJR is also showing a little bit of bullishness this morning perking up you can see this is the pre-market candle but once again we have that that pattern that's just a little bit of um well uh, uncertain um are we going to be able to break that downtrend and hold up here and continue on higher or will we fail in this area and start making that breakdown occur kind of a probably a 50 50 shot on that 
um, in that chart. So watch that close. And last but not least, WIT reporting today. Obviously, extremely bullish charts. Been trending, trending, trending. Easy to trade chart. And now we have kind of surged up. And this is what I've been talking about here um, this morning, that we're seeing a lot of these charts that have really stretched out. And we're seeing a lot of parabolic nature showing up in charts. And that always makes me nervous when we see that, that um, just ignoring anything uh, technical out there and pushing for some new highs. So you want to watch that carefully as we continue to surge to the upside. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful, please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. I do try to answer all of those that I can um, on those comment uh, comment section. I want to say thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. It helps us to continue to grow the channel. And honestly, you guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. And also, please do me a favor as well. If you use social media at all, um, share that video link out on social media. Um, that will reach more people and we can continue to grow um, this channel if this content is important to you. It helps us to con continue to do it. So thank you very much. Let's take a peek at some of these stocks that are looking pretty good. Um, some of these, I'm going to say, we've got to be a little bit careful. We're going to need to um, get a little bit of a rest before we um, consider them. But let's take a look at a couple of charts that I actually placed some alerts on yesterday that I am watching. Take a look at Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder kind of floating around in here and you can see I placed alert right here. This has been holding up in this trend. And although yesterday saw a little bit of a bearishness coming in, it was looking better earlier in the day. That little bit of bearishness came in and you can see this morning we're getting that pushed down. So this may not follow through to the upside. We'll watch watch that um, in here. But if this can hold this consolidation in here under this trend, then watch for that opportunity for that to maybe follow through to the upside. Keep a close eye on it. May or may not with the bearishness that we're seeing in the market this morning. Let's take a look at Allstate. Now Allstate looking very, very good here. And I saw quite a few stocks in that insurance sector yesterday looking pretty good. Take a look here, beautiful upside trend here in Allstate. I placed an alert right in here, gonna be watching that closely if that can pop on through. Now, I do wanna acknowledge that there is some price resistance right back here in the chart to be aware of. So keep that in mind, it may not be your kind of trade, but watch for that. It's looking pretty bullish here overall. Take a look at TAN. Solar stocks have been very, very, very strong. And there's the anticipation that the Biden presidency is going to free things up a lot here and help this industry. TAN is the solar ETF and it is looking really, really good, holding up in this very strong trend. Um, once again, some of these stocks are getting a little bit extended, but that doesn't mean they can't continue. As long as we can see those bulls pushing in here, if those bulls pop up, we could extend this rally on higher. Keep a look, um, a look out for tan. Also, keep a close eye on Disney. Now, Disney is showing a little bit of bearishness this morning. You can see bearishness came in a little bit yesterday, but I've been watching this in this chart, holding this trend. And as we kind of chopped over toward this trend, we're getting closer and closer to that place where I'd be looking for those buyers maybe to step up in here. Don't know if that's going to happen. Let's watch that closely and see if that can push on through to the upside. Keep a close eye on it. Um, I also think um, there are some pretty good plays uh, starting to show up. Take a look at Alcoa. Alcoa had a, had a nice little rally here just recently. As you can see, we consolidated this big move rallied and now we're just kind of resting in here uh, taking in the view at this height and resting so i think there could be an opportunity to set a price alert right in here to see if that alcoa can pop on through and start moving
moving to the upside. One to keep an eye on, one to watch for, for sure. Um, we also have stocks like Peloton continuing to set up good bullish patterns. So we pulled back here in Peloton, rallied back above that little downtrend, and now we're pushing up here into that price resistance area, holding a little bit of a higher low. So keep an eye on this. Peloton has been very, very strong. And if COVID continues to run like it is and, and gyms around the world continue to remain shut down or struggling, it's going to be um, pretty easy for folks to go out and spend that stimulus check on some Peloton uh, tech here and um, get their exercise at home. So watch that for that next upside potential move in the chart. Last but not least, take a look at some retail. Um, we saw some retail making some good moves yesterday. And what's interesting this morning is we're getting a kickback here on that. This is the pre-market candle showing up here on Dollar General, suggesting it's gonna give back yesterday's big move um, up. Now, what I like about this chart is we're breaking that downtrend. And we, yesterday, were trying to prove that as a hold of support. The little bit of bearishness coming in the market this morning could kick that back out. So watch that closely. But retail starting to show some signs of strength. Um, UAA is another place. Um, Under Armour has been very, very bullish here recently, pushing up strongly. It looks like it's trying to follow through a little bit this morning. So keep an eye on that. Now, I don't think I would chase this. We're pushing up into some resistance right here. But if we can pop on through, there could be some opportunities there uh, in the next entry signal for UAA. It's been very, very strong. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. I want to thank everyone for being here this morning um, and clicking those thumbs up buttons and um, subscribe buttons. Thank you so much. Um, you humble me every, every day with your kind words. I truly appreciate it. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.